what's up everybody uh welcome back <laughs> uh i want to say thank you for uh to all the people with the, the warm welcome back i appreciate that makes me feel all warm inside um so let me uh show you what's up so i started uh i started working on this kit here um which is the uh let me just put these parts right here real quick um which is the Grand Sport, I think it's a 64, 64 Corvette Grand, Grand Sport. Um, is it, it doesn't give it a, a year, but I'm a, yeah, it's a 64 Grand Sport. It's this kit right here. Um, the parts that come with it are, are actually, they're, they're pretty decent as far as uh, flash goes. They're real clean, um, real nice. The only problems I've encountered with this kit um, are the directions um, they're absolutely horrible uh, I, I've been building the kit and unfortunately I, I've had to build I'm not a big fan of Corvettes um, I've had to build quite a few of them for, for the guy I build for so I've gotten familiar with the rear suspension on them um, it's you know dual axles and independent suspension and you know it's all pretty much they all look the same to me from every year I seem to have built them it's always the same same rear end um, the, the directions themselves, unfortunately, are not like your, um, Revell or your, um, um, AMT directions, which are pretty, pretty clear and spelled out for you. Um, on this particular instructions, it was, what's funny about it is, as you might be able to see here, um, it shows this cover right here upside down, and when you read through the directions, um, the right side is left and the left side is right. Either they're looking from the back of the engine forward. Um, that's the only way I can, I, I think the way they're telling you how to build it, because it's definitely, from what they're telling me, is not front side right, front side left. It seems to be opposite and reverse, which is kind of frustrating. Um, the, the other thing about it is, is it, it doesn't show you, you know, it shows the diagram of the pieces, but it doesn't give you a better uh, a better picture or step by step of, on how it's built. Um, once I'm done with this, I'll be I'll be extremely <laughs> I'll be I'll be happy. Um, as you can see, even with the the instructions for the rear end, it, it doesn't really um, it it just it gives you a blown up view of it instead of uh, step by step, which is which is unfortunate. But um, I'm making my way through it. Um, I got the chassis done. Um, it's right here. Um, the downside I noticed with the chassis, which is unfortunate, is is it's tubed and real nice on the outside, you know, nice and smooth. But when you look at it from under the chassis, you can see where the lines are from where I guess it was sitting in the mold machine, I guess, or however. Um, which is kind of unfortunate because I, I like to look at the underside of the cars because besides the engine, that there's a lot of detail is usually under the chassis. Um, but on, on this case, this definitely won't be a car you want to lift up and then look at the chassis. Um, it's coming along pretty well. Parts are fitting together pretty well, but I'm having to uh, to double guess and second guess myself when I'm gluing the parts together because the directions are, are horrible. Um, but I'm, I'm confident I'll get it done. I've gotten the engine almost completely done. Um, typically, I, I paint the engine uh, and the tranny two different colors, um, but on this particular one, I just, you know, this is the first model I built in a while, so I'm just going quickly and, and knocking it out. Um, it, Plus, no one's gonna see the bottom of the car anyway. Um, well, they will if they lift it up, but you know what I'm saying. Um, here's the body of the car. Um, the body's actually pretty decent um, as far as details concerned. It, it's pretty cool for a Corvette. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not a fan of Corvettes, but it, it's it's pretty cool. I, I think it's a pretty tight looking car. Um, I, I did encounter something that was a little odd. Um, is these two whoop, these two holes right here? Um, as you can see in the fender, the instructions say there were some kind of holes for quick release. Um, for I forget what they said it was for. It was for being able to change the oil quickly or something like that. Um, they give you a plug, and then I also actually they, the dire directions didn't tell me about it. But then there's another piece that actually looks like the caps to get pulled off because uh, I didn't want to have to fill those in and 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 do any extra body work uh, than necessary. But it's coming along, everybody, and I'm happy. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll knock it out within the next week or so, a couple weeks. Um, like I said, I'm I got school and everything else, so 
Um, and I'm trying to get down here when I can and, and knock it out. Um, even with the suspension, the suspension's not very clear on the kit, so I'm actually uh, trying to work side by side um, so that way everything goes on accurately. Um, other than that, uh, I started working on my, uh, it's a 50, according to the, uh, to the box, it's a 54 sedan. Um, uh, it also comes with the 53 parts for the 53 grill, um, and I even believe the 53 taillights. Um, it, it's going to be built like a 54 because it's a 54, and I want a 54. Um, I've uh, sanded off all the side trim so far, so the trim is all sanded off and gone. Um, I got rid of the, the the peak that goes down the hood because the hoods on these cars traditionally are two separate pieces um, and usually the custom guys will weld them together and sand it down or grind it down to make it look nice and flat so that's what I've done because it's already been modified with um, a tail treatment on the back tail light treatment and, and then French headlights so I'm, I'm making it I'm just trying to make it look uh, a mild custom as possible um, when it's done um, the goal for the color is, is going to be flat black uh, or, or, or a sheen uh, black, uh, kind of like the 49 Merc. And then um, the roof is going to be some kind of a metal flake, uh, as usual, um, for what I'm trying to go for. Red or yellow or, I don't know, blue. Whatever I, I, I think will really pop on the car. Um, the parts have a lot of flash, which is disappointing. But... Uh, other than that, I think uh, it'll be nice. The other thing that's really nice, I don't know if it's like this in the other 53 Chevy. Um, it's been a long time since I built that one. Um, the front um, splash panel and the back splash panel, they're molded to the body, which is nice. Um, on the 51, it's a separate piece, um, and then you snap it in there with the bumper. Um, I like that it's molded because I would have molded it anyway because it gives it that custom look. In the car, it has the custom appeal to it. Um, the downside on the kit was is I wanted to build it with an inline six um, and hot rod the inline six, but it did come with like a big 427 V8, so shit, why not, right? Throw the big block in there. Um, I'll build the other 53 that I have bone stock, and, and, and you know, here I'll show you. I'll build this one bone stock. Um, I believe I also have parts to turn that into a 54 as well over in my parts box because this is a 53, so it comes with the, the, the 53 grill. Um, so I'll probably build that, oops. I'll most likely build that one bone stock and then this one as the custom. Um, that one's also a, a hard top and this is a, a, a post car. Um, other than that everybody, this is, uh, I'm trying to keep videos and, uh, cause last time I made a video and then I disappeared again for a year. So I'm trying to, uh, keep up with the videos right now, um, before my day starts and, and knock it out. Oh, I thought I had a cup of coffee. I must have left it upstairs. Um, but everybody, um, thanks for watching as usual. And um, hopefully I have another video for you guys soon. Once again, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for the comments and everything. I appreciate that. Uh, it's really cool. And uh, you guys have a good afternoon, good day. Uh, whenever you get this video, I'll probably upload it later today. Um, so you'll probably see it this evening or when you're seeing it now. Um, all right, everybody, you have a good one. Peace.